Dr. Sleep, directed by Mike Flanagan, also written by Mike Flanagan and Stephen King. Um, you guys are in for a treat when you watch this movie. Even though I feel like this movie is not going to be for everybody because that's going to be some dumb-minded, drunk people that's going to go into this movie and not completely understand what this movie brings to the table and how scary this movie truly is if you're someone that actually been through something and had some spiritual experiences. Um, Mike Flanagan also directed some awesome films that I reviewed here on this channel, like um, Haunting of Hill House. That was really good and really scary. Um... Gerald's Game, Hush. Um, he also did that really scary uh, Ouija Origins, which the young lady in that film will haunt my dreams forever and far beyond. And that movie scares me to this day. That's why it's really difficult to watch, and I would not watch that movie by myself to save my life. Um, the film is about Danny Torrance. That's an older man now. You know, he he's still struggling, still dealing with things. But I also like how the film elaborate from when he was a kid from the first shining of how that continued on happening while he was you know growing up in his life and dealing with that and I like what they done with that I like that they revisit some things and cleared some things up that the first film couldn't do that's why Stephen King didn't even like the first film because it wasn't told the way he wanted to tell it but I'm glad that they was able to tell the story right in this film and it's done exceptionally well um, until uh, Danny Tyrants meet this young very special gifted young lady uh, named Abra, uh, Abra Stone that um, has these abilities that, that stretches far and beyond. I mean, the things that this young lady can do in this movie is absolutely amazing. And it was truly crazy is that people really can do these things. I do believe that. I know that. You know, I don't want to put myself out there, but I, that's why I said this movie hits me on a personal note while watching this film because everything that I've seen in this film I experienced in real life I experienced every ounce of everything that they had in this film and it hit me so hard that I was looking around the theater like this is crazy but they absolutely nailed every inch of everything in this film about you know people with special abilities and how they're able to do things and how they're able to uh know the things that they know but then on top of that you got this woman named rose the hat and then she got this group of people that preys on children and the reason why people pray on children because they more of the light you know they more closer to god they more i can't really explain it the way i want to explain it but children are more of the light they more like a direct source to god and also have a special way about them that cannot that a, a adult would not understand Unless they aware of being a child theirself inside spiritually. But let me tell you, from beginning to the end, this movie is really, really good. Once again, I don't even have a rating system that's even high enough to touch this movie. But this movie is really deep and it gets disturbing. It also has disturbing moments where it's going to make you feel disturbed. But at the same time, the movie just tells the truth about some of us that's out there with special gifts that that deal with you know trying to wanting to talk to other people and let them know or, or or want to share certain things with people but some people just isn't ready for other world stuff which i've done died twice in my life and then seen some things and was able to come back to tell people what i saw and it's up to them where if they believe me or not but some people will rule you out and say something wrong with you and say you crazy but this movie has all that in it i mean it told the truth i felt like i was watching a diary of my whole entire life of what i experienced from a child all the way up to now as an adult and this movie truly scared the living crap out of me let's give this movie a rating shall we I give this movie two thumbs up and a big smiley face. Oh yeah. And there was some outstanding acting in this film by uh, Rebecca Ferguson, also uh, Ian McGregor, um, Curtis Cliff, who else? Um, Allison Lynn, Lynn, it's funny how you say her name. Um, she was amazing too. Um, the guy that plays Lurch in the original Adams Family, he was in this film too and he also played in Gerald's Game. And Kalia Karen was the show stealer throughout the whole entire film. I am a fan of this young lady. She's amazing. I love her acting in this film and the way she act and with with uh, Ian McGregor, their chemistry together is well done. I also like um, Rebecca Ferguson character as well. And I also like that guy that plays the Raven. 
He was like the he was the bad guy with with the hat woman. Yeah. But th- this movie is really good. I highly recommend this film. Like I said, I don't even know why I even gave the film a rating because my rating is not even big enough for this film. Uh, the film is out tomorrow, so you can watch this film Thursday night. So get your tickets today, right now. I'm telling y'all, if you don't get your tickets, this movie's gonna be one of the movies like it. It's gonna sell out, and you're not gonna be able to get no t- no seats. This movie is really that good, and I don't want y'all to miss it. Check this film out, Doctor Sleep, and you'll truly see why the mo- film was even named that. And I like, and another thing I want to throw in there is I like that the film went there with the cat because there's an actual hospital where a cat goes to room to room before someone dies. Like the cat can sense who's gonna die before they die. I mean, they even got this in the movie. Like everything about this film is telling the direct truth, and people better wake up. Because the things that's coming, y'all ain't prepared for it. At least I already saw it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Dr. Sleep when you see it. Because I told you what I thought about it. This movie is amazing. It's awesome. I can't wait for the Blu-ray. But I'm going to go see it again. Because the movie is really good. We saw it like last Friday. But it took me a while. Because this movie hit me on such a personal note. That it took me a while to get the courage to come on camera to just say anything. Because I learned this. The more closer you bring people to the truth... The more risks you take of your life being taken away. But you know what? It's totally worth it. As long as I can lead everybody to Christ, it doesn't matter. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary. As we've been doing since it too of this year. I love you.